Today we're looking at another blaster from the Nerf Halo Infinite line, and this is the Bulldog. And I am pleasantly surprised. Right off the bat. It's got slam fire. So in this video, we're gonna check out some of its chronograph numbers, check out its accuracy, and just give our overall impressions of this blaster. So let's jump right into the video. Like I said earlier, I was pretty pleasantly surprised on this blaster. It actually is really good. Let me post up some images of the actual in-game Halo Infinite Bulldog. As you can see, they did a great job of just getting the overall look. Obviously the paint, the paint scheme is, uh, you know, it's nerf, they gotta make it not look like a, an actual gun. So I, I understand the, the choices of color here, but as far as the actual like detailing and bodywork of this, it actually looks really spot on. My only gripe with it really is that this little uh, forward grip right here is, uh, looks like it's kind of like a fake Picatinny and it's all attached. I would love for this thing to be able to come off and then I could just use it like an actual shotgun because I like underhanded primes really for shotguns. That's unfortunate, but I might mod this thing in the future and make it just a regular pump action in the front. I know in the game it's modeled with this, so I get it. But looking at that, I was like, I really wish that came off. Overall ergonomics are really good. The pistol grip is very comfortable. The stock is perfect. I really like it and everything about it is really good it's got a good sight profile it's got you know some tactical rail mounts on the sides a lot of it up here i mean this this is a great a great offering i'm just actually extremely excited with how this thing looks and everything's really good And then of course when we use the half darts, 
we got a little boost. We got about 5, 10 FPS boost. So that was really cool. That is a very quick and easy upgrade you can do to this, just cut out the, the dart posts. And as far as accuracy is concerned, it was pretty moderate. Uh, we're shooting cups at 30 feet and was able to make most of the tags. Uh, I think there were a couple of times when I had to throw like, you know, an entire, entire drum at something. But for the most part, it was what you would expect for Elite. Also, the half darts were not as accurate as I thought they would be. So, and I think that's part of the reason is this does need some brass. I think this cylinder here could really use some brass in it to increase that accuracy. It's also worth noting that this is a very, very long barrel for this, for that dart to travel. So, a lot of opportunity for things to go wrong, especially because standard Nerf barrels are, they're like hallways. In conclusion, if you are a fan of Halo, I highly recommend this blaster. If you're not into Halo, I still think it's a decent pickup. I know you're gonna pay a little bit extra because you're, you're paying for that Halo branding, but all things considered, I think it's a really good blaster. I think this thing can be modded and painted up and look really amazing, so. Well, I'm Dr. Flux, and that pretty much wraps up this review of the Nerf Halo Bulldog. Let me know in the comment section if this is one you would like to pick up. If you would like to pick one of these up and support my channel, head on down to my affiliate link and purchase it through there. I am very happy that this one turned out to be decent. I was pretty let down by the Mangler. So uh, getting this in hand and seeing its overall performance and how it feels and everything, I'm pretty happy. And I can't wait to see if I can get some type of spring upgrade or just work on it shooting consistently two shots. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy foam flinging. Thank you.